Hello, I'm Dino, otherwise known as Shinther, and today I'm going to be playing some City Skylines because it's an awesome game and we're going to build an awesome city today. So let's go for a new game. Uh, we're going to go Lagoon Shore, what the hell not. And city name, well, um, we're going to go for Townsville. I'll tell you why a bit later. You know, left hand traffic, so this could be like on the Dorset coast or something like that. And um, let's go. So I said I've been thinking about making some um, you know, video recordings for a while now. And I thought I might as well get started and do something while I've got some time. So this is my first one. I'll try and keep it to like not too long a video so you actually don't lose interest like, halfway through. But hopefully we'll make a few of these and you know, have some interaction so you can help me tell me what I'm doing wrong or tell me if something's not really good. And so I said begin, so this is a little area here. So we've got this is the first star area, so this little lagoon here, we've got some uh, big lit you know, snake and river here, we've got a nice beach there, we've got a little train track up there, a little lagoon here, some more over there, we've got a little beach there. So that's a nice little area to start with. So let's go and get started with Free in the world. So, if you've never played this game before, it's available on Steam, and it's quite a good game. Um, it had some rave reviews. Uh, let's just go some like that for with. And we'll just get a little road to go in here, a little area, just you know, to start us off with. So let's build a nice curved road in here, and then we can have like a straight road down here, like that. Do we'll throw in a little intersection here? Right, is that straight? Is that straight? That's straight. Not very straight, but I'll do. And down here. And what we can do, we will just go and zone this area as residential. Yep, so I've been, um, went to, I've been playing this game on my own for a while. It's quite a fun game. Let's take the turbo speed and get some people moved in here. Um, Obviously, you need to learn how to play the game, so I've done that first. And one thing you definitely need is a water supply, so we'll get to one of these water pumping stations here. And then we'll lay some pipes from there. We'll go to the village like this. And there. Some pipes going up there. And there. And put them there for future reference. And then we'll get some. Uh, we need some electricity. So. To start off with an oil plant, we could just check up here and go oh, over that down here. Yes, but we've got a bit of wind, so this is shows it's quite a windy city, I think. So we could check down one of these wind turbines and we'll bring in a windy area, which we want it somewhere close to here, really. Um, that'll do. So we'll check a couple of these down here, I think, to begin with. And then we'll lay down some cable, so first to there, and then to there, and we've got electricity, so it's all working, and oh shit, literally everyone's crapped themselves, so what we need also is an ultra pipe. It's also important to keep it away from the fresh water, so we're going to put the alpha crab all the way down here, and for some magical reason, all the water and the fresh pipes are Houses here. It's a nice little house here. You live in this house. It's the orchard residence. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Orchard. And look, they've got four cars outside their house, which means that's a nice little uh, a sports car. Dexter Blake. What the hell is Dexter Blake? He's unemployed, he lives at home. Um, but he's got a nice sports car, even though he hasn't got a job. Uh, so these people need jobs, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw in some commercial area. And we know we made this residential, we'll delete that, and there you go, we're not going to commercial that we And have some commercial there as well. So this could be like the high street, which if you're going to do a high street, it's best to have a little bit more room on the road. So what I'm going to do is upgrade this road before I'd start to make it much fun. That's okay. So we're 
So we create all that and then um, there you go, we build bigger houses now. So that's a nice big um restaurant corner, so we got a nice big bike restaurant, we got a neighborhood shop, we got a quite corner shop, which is nowhere near a corner I've noticed, so that's a bit of a waste of it. Is that true there? But there you go. So there you go. It's the beginning of a little town. It's not too big, but it's a nice start. So also got a big demand for some a very high demand for industry or offices. So this point. I'm gonna put some industry a bit further away from that. So out here somewhere. So we'll carry on this road to begin with. So we'll keep this road going straight. straight here, so we'll go there and there and there and there and then might as well throw this there and there you go, we'll call it orange or yellow as it may be and we've got a little industrial zone there so that's a little industrial there so everyone's starting to get jobs now and um, we've got time at all, I'm sure all these people have nice jobs. So, what I've done is I've left this road here, so I don't really want any houses there. So that house there. Sorry, who's going to live there? It is the Woodland residence. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, screw you guys, and I'm going to disown this before anyone else moves in. Oh, look at that, someone's already moved in. Well, they did. Because uh, eventually I'm going to extend this little highway down to the towards the ocean here, and all the way down to here, probably eventually, um, where we can have like a, a nice like little beach. So we can have some like hotels there. Maybe we have the home hotel district down here or something. And I want to extend to over here and here. So in this game, of course, you can, once you fill this area, you get the ability to buy other zones. I think you have up to 9 until so we can have like the whole of this coast here and that'll be pretty cool and we're starting to the big ones F almost 500 pounds 500 pounds I think we'll do for today or I think it's a day one now or whatever it is so we'll go back to the village and there you go so we've got this is what we've knocked so far once we get to Fort C2 we will unlock some new buildings like a school hall and the landfill site and I forgot to have this area over here just eat more water so everyone's just starving and drinking and they're going to eat that and we're going to and then we're making food roads so you know for some reason they dig up the pipes uh, and now of course the residential area so I think what we need to do is add a big residential like estate here so what we're going to do is we're going to have a road here cause we're gonna have a nice and then that will actually make that a real corner shop there so that's good. And what we'll do, we'll have one this really windy road to the here, here, we'll turn around, that, and then we'll go over here, and then we'll just go this all over the place. Just so you know, it's a nice little estate. Congratulations, we're now a little hamlet and now we're going to go for a worthy village which we're almost there already and won't take too long and now we've unlocked a lot of shit. So we can also see noise pollution and oh shit man, there's a lot of noise pollution. Uh, people are not very 
happy. Um, in fact, I'm pretty damn sad. Uh, that just is okay. And everyone's done as fuck. So, we're going to have to add some schools. So, click on the school, we'll get out of the school here, and we might as well stick it. Well, we could stick it on the main road, but I think around here. And there you go, look at that. The headband's just gone. Whoosh. Um, the Star Wars had people on there, but then we might as well add a medical center, which we can head on the high street, I suppose. So, I could go there. Oh, no, there we go. Bam. Oh my god, everyone loves it. And then. We've not any your services yet, but at least everyone will be healthy and everyone will be. Well, at least a few people have actually get an education now, so that's good. And then eventually all people move around here, so you start ticking it over, and then everyone will be great. So it's still really ticking over slow, we'll speed back up because every time it clicks over it goes down to slow mode. And we're starting to earn look at that, 20 grand in the pocket, and that's pretty good. So you see people moving in, it's looking really good. As you said, the Robin residence, that's pretty cool. And some people are dropping in bed. A bomb house. It's got no wall, so we literally just there. And there you go, the one person's got fire. Who's that? Who's this one? The Emerson residence, we're not there. Aww, there are those swings outside, thank you. Two children, two adults living there. Everyone's educated. And water. Still can't have the products yet. Everything's going over pretty well. And everyone wants to have some more So, what we need to do is to add a. One of these. I'm going to make it out here. Uh, shall we do it over here? Or shall we add a new road? I think we could add. Actually do. So we'll look it out here. Right here. And then we can put everything this out there and it will fit. Shit. Well that's a pain in the ass. But there you go, we'll stick it here. Right out the way of the village. And there, everyone will stick it. And everyone's losing power. So these are two things I've shown generally enough now. Click on just about enough, but we'll just add another wind turbine from now. And that'll keep us going until we lock some other things. But you got this little area by the coast with the power of the thermals and so people what I want you to do if you're watching this is give us a name for the areas. You've got this tool here which we'll lock soon, the district area, as soon as we get to the next um, population level. So if you want to call this area something, let me know and we'll stick in, we'll call it whatever you want to call it. Um, the other reason I wanted to um, say about the town, town town is because it is the world of the park of girls. Oh hey! Okay. So the park of girls was an old TV from the 90s. And basically three little girls can disability so this house here, yeah, shuffle distance, you don't want the shuffle distance. This is going to be... Uh, first of course, is the guy who created the Pub of Girls. Oh, sugar spice and everything nice, so... There you go, and of course, the advantage of having the Pub of Girls in town is if there's natural disaster or... I don't know. Big Monsters or Mojo Jojo attacks the city, we should be safe. So everything's going pretty nice there. We've started the city, we've got this little area, and we still have a lot of parks, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, there you go! So we can have a couple of statues, we can have a statue of wealth. So we've got a little park here, and where should we stick this? Well, we might have to do a few houses. Oops. So we'll stick it here. Knock these two buildings down. Yep. Granted, them two people are happy. Everything else looks happy around there. And there you go, we've got our first little park. And. Look at the 
shot with Jason. Comment, like, whatever, favourite, and next time we'll expand on this anymore, get some more people living, that's more commercial, and why don't you just leave me a message and tell me what to do, and then hopefully, eventually, this whole area will be one massive, thriving metropolis. So, okay, thank you for watching, I salute you, and see you soon.